everyone this is Naveen here welcome back to another video today I'm going to talk about like how you can set up a passwordless authentication between your Linux VMs okay so my setup is going to be something like this so I'll be having a two uh, Linux VM and we are going to set up a passwordless authentication from server 1 to server 2 maybe you can just think of two servers from here to here how you can set up a passwordless authentication we are going to see so let me switch my screen to uh, the AWS dashboard so I'm going to use a EC2 instance for this demo I have two VMs okay so Linux VM is going to be the server 1 and Jenkins whatever I have named here is going to be server 2 okay so I have already made a connection to these two VMs and uh, this is one server and this is the uh, another server so what we are going to do is from server 2 which you see here we are going to make connection to server 1 okay so this is how what we are going to see okay so let's see how this can be done so firstly uh, let's create a new user so that we will use that user for making this connection okay so on in server 1 I'm going to say sudo user add and let's say demo user let's create that user now we have this user added let's set a password I'll just say sudo because without sudo we cannot call this command and for it's going to be for demo user let's put the password okay perfect so now we have a new user created and we have set the password for that user so this is done on server 1 which you see on the left side so now let's quickly take the IP I'll take the private IP of this server now let's go here and let's try to do a SSH to that server okay so this is my server from server 2 I'm trying to do a SSH with using demo user let's see how it goes okay so uh, it says permission denied okay and it didn't even prompt for the password okay so by default uh, the whatever VMs you launch in uh, EC2 password authentication will not be enabled okay for security reasons so what you could do is you can go and enable password authentication okay let me show you how to do it so there is a file called sshd config let's go and edit that ssh and sshd config so if you come all the way down so you should be seeing something called password authentication yeah this is the one so this one is commented so let's remove the comment and uh, enable this password authentication okay let's save and quit now since we have made change uh, we have to restart this service i will say sshd okay perfect now we have done the restart let's go back to server 2 i am in server 2 which is on the right side of the screen now let's do okay it's prompting for password now okay since we have enabled password authentication and let's try to make connection okay perfect so we are on this server okay which is server 1 in this screen you could see demo user at IP 172.31.16.76 whatever you see here okay but this is not our uh, requirement right so we have to see how you could log in without a password so to do that you should first generate a key okay so what's going to happen is first we are going to generate a key here okay 
so you will be having two keys one will be your uh, private key and the uh, other one will be your public key so two keys will be generated so what we will be doing is uh, we are going to copy this public key to here okay to the user profile to which we are going to log in so in this case our user profile is going to be the demo user okay so that's the user we are going to use so i'm going to we have to copy the key from here to here and place it so let's see how it can be done in order to generate the key right so all you have to do is ssh key gen okay let's do this also i mean there are few more parameters which you could supply but for the uh, sake of this demo let's keep it simple okay i missed a hyphen i'll just go with the defaults okay because you could define like what kind of encryption you are going to choose etc so let's go with the default now what this is going to do is okay if you look closely uh, this is going to save a file in my home directory so in server 2 i have connected with my ec2 user and i'm in my home directory so it has created a file okay so these are the two key files which it has generated and uh, the file which we are interested in is the public key okay let me do a ls hyphen l and you could see now we have this folder okay let's see okay, let me clear the screen and let's see what is there I'll do cd dot ssh and ls okay so you could see this has two files okay now this is the file let's see what it contains now id underscore rsa dot pub so this is our key basically okay now what we should do is we should have this copied to okay uh, the home directory of uh, demo user okay so either you could do it manually or you have a command which can do that okay so let's go with the command which would be easy copy okay before that what i will do is i'll just show you the home directory for this user Wait, where I are? Okay. Just switch to sudo ones. Okay, cd home demo user. So right now we don't have anything. So these are the files which we have in this home directory. Okay, this is the home directory for demo user. Now just watch this screen. So now we are going to do, there is a command called ssh uh, copy id. So what this command is going to do is, this is going to pick our file, the public key, and uh, it can do a copy to the remote machine to which we are trying to do a ssh. Okay, so for that we are going to supply the file. What is going to be our file name is the public key. Okay, and then you have to authenticate so let's say demo user at let me copy the ip address of the destination machine so the ip address is the server one ip address let's hit enter for the very first time uh, since it has to like make connection to do this copy it will prompt for the password let's give the password and now it has it says number of keys added one now try to log into the machine with this thing okay before we even we try that right let's quickly see what has changed in server one now you could see we got this ssh folder here okay so let's go to the ssh directory and let me do a ls okay so when you do let's say if you want to do manually if you want to manually copy the files so this is the 
directory which uh, you should i mean this is the file which you should um, create and wait it should be cat if you see whatever key we have here is now pasted here okay the ssh copy id command itself has done that so if you are going to do it manually you have to create this file inside the dot ssh folder for the user profile which you want to uh, use for passwordless authentication and make sure like you set the permission to 600 okay that should be the permission which should be set for this authorized keys uh, file now let's go here and it has also given a sample command anyways like we'll do an up arrow and i'll just remove all these things so now we are going to do ssh demo user and the destination ip that's all so now we are in let me clear the screen maybe so now you could see we are in this server which is server one from server two we have taken a we have done a passwordless authentication to server two so let's say now if you want to do a uh, ssh with a different user so all you have to do is just move the key to respective user whichever user you are going to use and uh, then you could do the same operation okay so this would help like when you are trying to do some automation in larger scale where you have to connect to multiple machines this is going to be helpful instead of like logging in uh, manually to each box you could set up something like this so your process is going to be very easy so <clears throat> that's all i had for this video so i hope you liked it and learned something new so okay that's all for this video thank you bye